Women should be absolutely dominating the Forex market. They just don't realize it. You heard me correctly. And make no mistake, this is a video for men and women alike, uh, but especially for the women. Uh, because in this market in particular, uh, the Forex market, they are so uniquely set up to just crush it. I just don't think a lot of women completely understand why or understand how. Maybe they do. Who knows? But we're going to talk about it. Uh, but a couple things before we do. You will notice the color of the font. Uh, this is a trading psychology video. Um, don't be alarmed. We just haven't done one in a while, so you might not recognize it. But as I've said many, many times ad nauseum, the uh, money management and trading psychology are the two absolute most important things in Forex trading, really trading anything. Um, but it's not the one thing that most people are obsessed with. Uh, they are obsessed with the, the trade entries. How can I get in a trade and get out of the trade uh, at the absolute best times? Uh, which is very important, of course, but um, pales in comparison to money management and trading psychology. So even though videos like this are the least viewed pound for pound, um, they are some of the most important. Those of you who have followed my trading psychology series know exactly what I'm talking about. They're some of the most requested videos. They are some of the most, uh, I think, appreciated videos, but only by the people that actually take the time to watch them. So if you're here and you've made it this far, uh, I do like your chances. But in this video in particular, got to have some disclaimers out there uh, because people are idiots. So you have to lead off with these all the time, unfortunately now. Uh, then talk about before we even get into this whole thing, um, one of the biggest things I really love about Forex and uh, just about the market in general and how unique it is to one particular thing that I've almost, I don't think I've ever talked about it. So we're going to talk about it before we get too deep into the rest of the video. But once we get there, we're going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages that I think are inherent in men and female traders. Um, it's going to be controversial. Not all of you might feel this way, um, but just hear me out. Whether people agree or disagree, I always try to back it up as best I can. And then just really talk about the reasons I think why women just naturally do better in this market. There's no numbers to back this up. Um, but I think you women, you're just so set up to succeed. And I think you need to hear this, but let me talk to the stupid people for a minute. Just so you know, I am one person. Um, just, just all I do on this channel is just pretty much state my observations and opinions, nothing more. Uh, and it's actually meant to help you trade better. Um, there's a real good purpose behind what I say all the time, no matter how I say it. Um, then well, let's keep going with this a little bit. Uh, understand too, I have not done any research on this. I have no professional qualifications in terms of psychology or anything like that, and nor would I ever claim to. Uh, also, uh, this is not a gender debate of any sort. Uh, do not make it one in the comment section. I will delete your comment right away. Um, because that's not what this is. And there are like what millions, literally other videos you can go into and pollute their comment section with your thoughts on this. Uh, it's, it's not an us versus them thing, uh, but there are clear differences. And that's one of the things I want to talk about here. Uh, there's always exceptions to the rule. Um, don't, please don't be, I, there's gotta be a name for people who do this, a specific name, but the ones that always try to use the exception to prove the rule and say, well, no, you're wrong VP. I know one person that does it. They shut up. I don't speak in definitives like that. Unless I say something like trend lines are terrible, then I mean it 100% of the time. But as far as these things go, there's always gray areas. You guys know this. And, uh, and what I have, though, is based on actual conversations I have had with male and female traders. Um, this is where all this is coming from. So uh, where I get off talking about this is a number of things. I've probably actually conversed um, not actually spoken with, but gone back and forth with more female traders than anybody watching this video right now. Now, how can I claim such a thing? Well, if you guys know, for a while, I had a segment on my podcast called Ask VP, where you could send in any question you wanted to ask, and you only got one, 
Uh, but as a result, I ended up corresponding with lots and lots of traders. I would get anywhere from 40 to 60 emails a day when this thing was running. And I had to shut it down because people were abusing it. But I have probably gone back and forth with over 50 female traders. That's that's quite a bit. And there's a few I know personally, just from the prop firm, just from doing this for as long as I have. And we've, ha we've all had some pretty good conversations about trading as well. Uh, but you guys know me, um, you, if, especially those of you who have gone through my trading psychology series. Uh, these are just little things I pay attention to. Um, I make observations like this because it's observations based on things I see. You know, most people don't even look at stuff like this. I actually pay really, really close attention to it because I'm almost obsessed with it. You know, and psychology is a lot about avoiding mental mistakes, and I have made all those mistakes. And so I'm passing all that knowledge on to you. Now, wouldn't you rather hear that from somebody like me, who has been able to have the conversations I've had, and who's made every stupid idiot mistake in the book? Or would you rather listen to somebody who has a PhD in psychology come in and try to tell you about how you should trade the Forex market? That video would probably be insanely boring, for one, and uh, not helpful at all, at the very best. So, on paper, I'm not qualified at all. Um, but overall, I feel like, it, just at least by process of elimination, I'm a pretty good person to talk about this with. Now, when it comes to my actual YouTube channel, um, I can say this uh, for sure, because the numbers dictate it, 8% um, across the board, and these numbers change little tiny bits, you know, month after month, up one way, down another way, but 8% female traders across the board. Now, what I mentioned before in the In This Video slide is one of my favorite things ever, ever, might be my number one favorite thing about the Forex market, but as many of you know, it is a total blank canvas. It does not matter who you are in any stretch. There's no you know, ceiling to break through. You know, nobody gets preferential treatment. It is a blank canvas. So no matter who you are, where you came from, how old you are, how much money you have right in front of you right now, none of that matters. I spoke in the patience video I did, which is also in the Forex Psychology playlist. I'll link that one below and I'll try to put that on the end screen if I remember. Um, but I went and showed people, how, say, look, if you don't have any money at all and you're from a country to where opportunity is really not there for you to make much more money than you already have, you can still blow up in this market if you take the right approach. Um, so there's just no room for excuse anywhere. I mean, that person born with a silver spoon in their mouth that has power and influence, and they can use that to get ahead. In Forex, you can't. Forex will chew you up just like it will anybody else. It does not care who you are or where you came from. You can't use that to your advantage. Um, for all the people out there who are professional victims and always have some excuse to where, where why they can't get ahead over somebody else. They always want to point the finger elsewhere. You can't do that here. <laughs> it doesn't work. You, you know, your excuses don't add up. Forex looks at you the same way they look at me, the same way they would look at Bill Gates, the same way they would look at somebody with five cents to their name. Um, it is a blank canvas. So any of you out there that think you have a disadvantage over other people here, you're wrong. If somebody has a lot of money and they start trading with it, well, then that's more they stand to lose. And if you barely have any money... I showed you in the patience video how just by trading really well uh, for an extended period of time, you can turn that into a lucrative career. And I would almost wager to say that if uh, a woman goes that route, then she almost has an advantage because people would probably be more likely to trust her with their money because uh, all the scams and Ponzi schemes and things like that are all done by men. So just an observation there, not really what this video is about. But um, as far as Forex trading goes, it's one of my favorite things. We all have a chance. It just comes down to those who decide to make it in this game are going to make it in this game, no matter who you are. It's just a matter of deciding if you want to or not, and then doing it. Making the right decisions over and over again uh, will get you to the top of this game every time. And when it comes to making those decisions, men and women both have things that stand in our way. Um, so let's talk about that. 
Now, like I said, you can debate this all day. These are my observations, um, and we'll get deeper into all of them. But when you see something in green, that's going to be a positive, and then when you see something in red, that is going to be something I consider a negative. So when talking about male traders, um, some of the things that really work to our advantage, for example, is we are born risk takers, and there's reasons for that. We'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, we have that killer instinct. Uh, many of us do. Um, it's getting less and less as the years go on, but there's still a vast majority of us that I would say that are really out there to become the best. And that desire to be great propels us to do things like this and to learn things like this and to get really good at things like this. It is how we as men compete with each other to where women compete with each other in different ways. Um, but the desire to be great, to be on top, to be prestigious, to be rich, all of those things propel us to do everything we can to make it in this game. Um, but in doing all of these things, our emotions get in the way, and we are, in my opinion, by far the more emotional of the two sexes. And I do not think this is a good thing. But like I said, we will discuss. Now, women, naturally risk-averse. Many of them don't trade this market because they don't want to trade this market. You know, they'd rather do other things. Um, taking risks like this with your money day in and day out is a very typical male-dominated thing to do. Um, they're not terribly competitive, like I said before, not in the ways that we are. And that competition with others and with ourselves, I think, as men, is, uh, is always like a, a nice tailwind at our back um, to where women just don't have that extra little push in terms of competition. Um, and it just it doesn't work against them. It's just not there. Um, so it's, I, I think if I had to put an advantage or a disadvantage on it, I think for now I would say disadvantage. But some of the really great things they have is they're very process-driven. And I can tell you this just from the conversations I've had, and, and I see the way they approach my channel. They love the actual process a lot more than men do. Men want to just get to the top as fast as they can, however they want to do it. Um, and then it takes lots and lots of failure over time to realize, hey, maybe I need to sit down and actually learn how to do this step by step. But it almost never starts out that way for us. You know, we have to go in there and make really stupid mistakes and lose a bunch of money and take all the emotional hits that go along with it before we finally understand, hey, let's go ahead and take a step back and figure this out step by step uh, to where women are usually already there from the start. Uh, that is an advantage. And uh, like I said before, they're just less emotional. And you guys know how emotions take you down in this game, but especially in the scope of Forex trading, the way wins and losses affect females I, I feel like I can say this with confidence, guys. I just think it affects them less overall. Everybody loves wins. Everybody hates losses. But the way it affects us as men and the magnitude to which it does and how it can potentially affect the way we do things, and when emotions affect the way we do things, it's never good. I think this is something that overall we wrestle with a lot more than women do. And pretty much the core of every single trading psychology video I do talks about keeping your emotions out of trading. So I think this right here is a huge, huge advantage right out of the gate. Uh, but none of this to me is surprising because if you go back to our hunting and gathering roots, I mean, we had roles a long time ago that worked out really well. It's probably the reason why we're all here right now is because we found a way to make this work. Now, if you go look up some of this, there's going to be arguments, well, you know, here they did it this way, here they did it that way. Overall, men were the hunters. We had to take risks, really big risks, depending on where we were hunting. Um, we couldn't just let food, you know, weeks worth of food run right by us. We had to act on it if we saw it happen. We had to be aggressive. We had to take chances. Now, the women, if they are mostly the type of women who are doing the gathering, all right, it's a whole different set of rules here, okay? There's less risk they have to take up front, but they also know that you only have so much food in front of you, and that food has to last, you know, especially if the man doesn't go out and catch anything. So the food they pick and they gather, wherever they find it, has to last the day, the week, and then throughout the winter as well. 
And so that takes a whole different mindset. That takes a whole different process. And these are the things that become ingrained in our DNA over time. But one of the things I also think happened over time is that when we started hunting, the ones that were better at hunting and typically the ones that were better physically were the ones that were better at hunting. And they were the ones that often had their pick of the women. And so with that prestige came the women. And so the ones that didn't have that wanted that and would do whatever they could to get that over time. So if you even go back to just some of the sports and competitions that we used to have amongst each other, you know, archery was one of them for sure, but so were things like wrestling and foot races and things like that to, to really see all things considered who was in top form physically. And to this day, the men that are great at all those things are still looked at with, with great adoration. And so my point is, I think a lot of these things uh, just didn't happen out of nowhere. I think they are just something that are ingrained in us, and we can't really do anything to change that. Um, so we just have to take what we're given and figure out how to best navigate these things. So let's go back to what those things are. Now, I said before, the green, I feel like, are advantages. The red, in my opinion, are disadvantages. Now, when I really think about this, and I take it all the way down to Forex trading, I think that as men, even the things that work in our favor, when we actually get to the point to where we're in there trading day in and day out, I think these things work against us. I don't think they're advantages. I think these things get us in the door, which is great. I mean, you can't go anywhere until you go through the door first, right? But when it comes down to the actual trading part of the equation, which is what we're doing here, I think all of these things work against us. Because we're natural risk takers and because almost all of us out there have that desire to be greater than we are right now, we tend to overreach a bit and take risks that are just downright stupid. And I can say this with confidence because we have all done them. But, okay, in general, fine, do what you want to do. But when it comes down to actual trading, it doesn't come down to much more than this. If you're taking notes, this is the part you want to write down. But we take risks, of course, we have to. But we minimize the risks we take. We mitigate those risks. And you do that by avoiding the things that are obviously dumb ideas. Because, God forbid, they actually work. You're just going to do them more, and it's only a matter of time before you take your account all the way down to zero, which in the early part of the decade I had done three times. And then on top of this, we minimize our risk, and we minimize the opportunity to do things that are completely stupid by keeping our emotions out of the equation. 99% of the stupid things you have done in your life are things to where emotion played a way bigger part than it should have. Think back. All of the things where you acted out of emotion and ended up doing something you regretted. Those two go hand in hand. And it's really easy for me to sit here on a video presentation and say not to do this and keep emotions out of the equation. Um, but it's really, really hard for men because we are more emotional people. We just are. And I'll bet that most of you who want to disagree with this, as far as the men go, in their heads are thinking about those particular times where women were acting very emotional towards us, not completely understanding that not every time they were doing that were they actually really feeling that emotion. Sometimes they were just doing that to get what they wanted from us because we will fall for just about anything and they know that. So sometimes you have to take that out of the equation. Now I'm sure there's plenty of times where the emotion was true. Um, but it wasn't all of the time, for sure. Women know that we're very emotional creatures, and they play off of that. So examples, uh, at least the ones that I can really tell from where I sit, are things like like love songs, for example. I, I'm throwing numbers out there just at random. I don't think there's any way to look, look this up. But I would go as far as to say that 98% of all love songs out there are written by men, regardless of who's actually singing it. Um, you know, we're, it's not a creativity thing. I think we're both equally creative, but just when it comes to that emotion and drawing that emotion out, men are much quicker to do it. We are emotional wrecks. Uh, things like divorce 
You know, I've seen a lot of the weddings I went to in my 20s. I've seen most of them not be together anymore and go through divorces. And this isn't saying one thing good or bad about either gender, but oftentimes, um, as far as the dating pool goes, uh, it doesn't take very long for the women to get right back out there. Um, the recovery process is much shorter. And I wish it was this way for guys too, but way too often it's just not. I mean, situations I've seen with my own two eyes, with my friends, and then being in the hospitality industry for as long as I was too, I hear so many stories from guys, but almost none from women about how it just completely tore them apart, so much to the point to where they are never going to date again, and then some of them don't. It's insane. I certainly don't think this is the best way to go, but I have never been through one, so I can't really relate. Um, but, you know, certain men's hearts just go from zero to 60 so fast that if they go from 60 back down to zero, they will go so far as to take the keys out of the car and throw them in the lake and just say, hey, I'm done. And then I'll go on dates with women that have been divorced, and they're pretty much over it. They're like, yeah, it happened. It sucked, but I'm, I'm moving on. So from where I stand and the situations that I've seen, um, as far as how men and women do with this one thing emotionally, the extremes couldn't be bigger. Uh, things like crime uh, has a lot to do, well, part of it's violence, uh, but I think this all ties together with desire to be great too. Desire to be great and emotions are a really deadly combination. So desire to be great or just better than we are uh, in terms of crime come down to things like theft, for example. Somebody has something, you want it, um, you want to have it and show it off, you'll steal it. Um, that's that part of crime. And then you, you think of white collar crime as well. You know, all those people want to be super, super rich, and they did it at the expense of other people. This is a very, very male thing to do. Men overall are a lot more violent, and this violence comes from a lapse in emotional control almost every time. It's rarely ever the best move, and you know that, but at the time, it was the best move you had, and we almost always regret it at the end. These things are just in us. But ladies, if you don't know, make no mistake, every day is a constant battle that we have within ourselves. It's us against the world. It's like one big obstacle course of death. Now, I'm being a bit melodramatic on this, but it's, it's a daily challenge to not only progress forward, but also to protect us from ourselves. Now, look, we're not asking for sympathy here. There's plenty of things that are really great about being a man, you know, bigger, stronger. We can pee where we want, you know, things like that. Great. But this right here, this is real. And it does us absolutely no favors in Forex trading. And society does us no favors either. They fan the flames. They know what we like. And they know what we want. And they know what we like and want are not the smartest things in the world. And so they market to us like you're supposed to market to people. It's rule number one of marketing. Don't market to the intelligent because there's far less of them. Market to the much dumber side of our emotions, the impulsive side, the envious side. And we see it everywhere we go because it works. So it's another thing we have working against us too. I have this working against me with the videos I put out. I am trying to do the opposite. You know, I'm trying to root out a lot of the people that are in for the quick money. I mean, just focus on the people that want to do things the right way. Um, I could easily, I have almost 100,000 subscribers right now. Um, I could easily be outdone in terms of views by somebody with 4,000 subscribers. If they just make a video that says, watch how I turned $10 into $3 million in the Forex market. Now, that would be a ridiculous video. <laughs> Nobody could ever replicate that. And the person who made the video, I'm sure, didn't do it themselves either. But that's the types of videos that people want to see in this business. And that's just where we're at. They do it because it works. It's real. And while this is great for motivational purposes, it absolutely screws us once we get there because uh, we overreach. We try too hard. And we do things we shouldn't do. We are our own worst enemies all the time. We focus on the wrong things. We need to focus on the procedure. We need to focus on psychology and money management. But so many people don't want to do that. About a month and a half ago, I put out a video on Ichimoku. 
knowing that it was going to be a really popular video. And then week after week, it's one of my top videos ever since I put it out. Um, but it's almost kind of sad in a way um, because I know most people are just there to watch the video, learn about it, and then take it with them and go trade with it and not focus on any of the other things, the things that are way more important. So couple that with the fact that emotions absolutely kill your trading all the time and men are way more emotional people. I've done the last 10 minutes of this video to hopefully convince you of that. Um, but it's just a cocktail of absolute death. And women have to deal with this a lot less. All right, I don't wanna hear any argument from this. This is just my opinion. But I think it makes sense, doesn't it? Women have a lot less of this complete nonsense to deal with up front, giving you, female traders, a much clearer path to the top. But let's talk about some of those other disadvantages that we mentioned before. The whole not competitive in a money-making way thing, I don't even know if that's real because Forex trading, we're not in competition with anybody. Now, there's enough money out there for you. There's enough out there for me. I mean, I'm naturally competitive. I want to be better than everybody. But if there's millions of traders that outperform me, as long as I get mine, I'm okay with it. And I don't just don't think it's something that women really concern them, themselves too much with. Could be wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong on that one. And then the big one, and it's always the case in anything to do with investing, is how women are naturally more risk averse. And we talked about just how genetically this is probably the case. Uh, but the numbers would tell the tale as well. But here's the thing about that. Maybe women in general are risk averse. But to all my female traders out there who are watching this video right now, risk aversion in this sense really is just about taking that leap into Forex trading itself. You're already here. You're here. Much of that risk aversion has been wiped out already. Now it can still rear its ugly head as you're trading. We'll talk about that in a bit. But I mean, there's just nothing but advantages left over. Now look, I know that there are things that I'm not even thinking about or not taking into consideration at all on the female side. I just know how destructive the emotional disadvantages are from the male side. And I see it play out all the time. And I don't see these things on the female side, which is great. You all have the clearest path to success in this business by far, in my opinion. On top of that, a lot of things that I just see you do, just in the conversations I've had and in the comments and the emails and things like that, are things that really make me happy. A um, lot less hit and runs in terms of like what I talked about with the Ichimoku video. Um, I see the majority of female traders just really get down and study every little piece of material that I have. They like the blogs more. Many of my videos and podcast episodes have blogs attached that have information that you don't find on the videos and podcasts. Things are explained in different ways. Um, but it's important that people read the blog as well because it's a lot of times it's easier to, to digest the information that's on there as it would be on a video. And women do this a lot. I'm always getting questions on when the next blog is coming out because I don't always have something new every week. But in my experience, this has been the case. Um, because as we just mentioned before, they're very process driven, which is great because this whole learning experience is not a hit and run experience. That is a sure way to lose. You have to follow the process. You have to love the process. Nobody stumbled onto a Forex channel watched a video on the MACD, and then went out and made a million dollars. That's not real. Learning a four to five trillion dollar a day market is a step-by-step -step process, and women get that. And they also, in my conversations with them, I have noticed that they tend to like the money management and psychology videos more than they do the other videos. And a lot of questions I would get on Ask VP would reflect this. And that makes me really happy. Because as we always say, those are the two most important things, by far. Guys want to talk about this more. The girls want to talk about this more. Men, look, we're the shit. I, I'm glad I am one. I wouldn't trade places for a day. But being able to expose our weaknesses as traders 
and by the same token being able to highlight the strengths of female traders I think can take us a long way because these aren't always things we think about and we don't always think about them this way this video is just as much for you as it is them but for my female traders you guys are on a fantastic path from here my only advice to you would be you're very process driven just don't fall too in love with the process you gotta put money out there at some point you've gotta make this happen at some point have no fear and then when you do here is a little tip maybe that I think will help a lot whatever money you trade whether it is yours or somebody else's get into the mindset that you are probably going to lose all of it now you're probably not especially if you're trading the no-nonsense Forex way and you're doing it the right way which the odds say that you probably are but if you already have it in your mind that there's an above average chance of losing the money you're trading with losing all of it then when you encounter those strings of losses that can have an adverse effect on people especially risk averse people it won't affect you as much because in your mind this was destined to happen anyway now, I'm asking you to trick yourself into thinking this but I mean it Forex involves risk that risk can mean you lose all of your money if you can make peace with this before the process even starts the better off you're going to be because then this severely lessens the chance of you doing something foolish once those losses come because losses always come the chances of you losing all your money as a no-nonsense Forex trader as a no-nonsense Forex female trader especially are almost nil but just get in the headspace that it can happen and has a good chance of happening whether it does or not I hope this makes sense uh, but don't feel guilty about the advantages you have celebrate them lean on them take that process driven nature take that steely focus you have to where emotions aren't getting in the way as much and milk it <laughs> I mean get out there and make money with that because that is a wonderful combination of things to have and it doesn't do any good unless you're actually out there doing it but girls you were made for this I mean the advantages of taking what you have and maxing it out are tremendous being able to single-handedly provide for yourselves and the people you love there's nothing absolutely nothing that compares to that and you are positioned so well to do this the excuses are gone Forex doesn't care about your excuses and they don't care about mine take what you have and run with that shit not only can you do it but you were built to do it so in conclusion women you already know it's just a matter of doing it uh, you keep doing all of the things that you're doing your head is in the right spot you are well on your way just don't stop now for the men when it comes to emotion I don't want to hear you guys go to my trading psychology videos for the fifth time and say I watched this for the fifth time I really needed this you shouldn't need this now you're dependent on a video instead do whatever it takes to slow down especially in the moment and do what you can to take emotion completely out of the equation because the only reason you keep coming back to those videos is because you slipped up and you know you did and emotion had everything to do with the slip up and to all my fellow men understand too that there is no benefit in getting in a race to the top here it's not an overnight process this is the part that women really get love the process enjoy the journey you're probably going to like the journey better than you the destination anyway I'm, I've, I've made peace with that myself but understand that media that involves a bunch of money and cars and private planes and stuff like that are marketing to the stupid all right that's not us not anymore there's only one way to success in this game and that way is a lot slower and a lot more methodical than we were first led to believe so traders if you are brand new to this channel and you like videos like this well I don't do a lot of them but um, th this is the same type of explanation I give to all my videos and it's a complete system just like we talked about it's a process never think it's anything but and if you're interested in doing things the right way 
in a step-by-step -step way to where one lesson builds on the other and you just get better and better and better. This is the only channel that does anything like that. Subscribe. Hit the bell. I'll put the beginner's video down below in the description as well. Whether you're a beginning trader or not, you're a beginner in this system, and that video will help you much better nav navigate the over 100 videos that I have here. But for all my male traders, for all my female traders, for all my transgender traders, it does not matter who you are. One thing will always remain constant. The only way for any of us to get to where we want to be in this business is to put in the work, go out there, and get it.